52,905 kilometers on an electric car. Mr. Ranjan Ray. Hello. Hello. Say hi to your viewers. Uh, Hello, everybody. Okay. So, how what has been your usage like? So one of the main reasons why I bought the the two in the first place uh, in in uh, April 2014 was that my daily commute was almost 100 kilometers, mm. and uh, other than the fact that obviously this was this is a comparatively more sustainable mode of transport as compared to regular IC engine cars, um, it is also very economical and very easy to drive. Um, so at that time I was driving from uh, from my home in Noida to my office in Gurgaon. and uh, even if i just drove from home to office and came back without going for meetings or without going to any of the sites uh, it would be almost 90 to 95 kilometers mm. um so considering that that was one of the main factors uh, that uh, that i that i bought the e2 for as it turns out uh, last year uh, in december the office shifted from uh, gurgaon much closer to home so so this is so over time this i mean it was so simple to drive this car It's so convenient to drive this car. Uh, never had a parking issue. Never had an issue reaching anywhere on time. Um, so it's become like my daily workhorse. Um, and it just, with every passing day, it made much more and more sense to use this car as rather than use my my other, as I would call the family car, which is the big bad uh, diesel guzzling uh, SUV, uh, which I only take out if I have to. Go out of the city, or uh, or there are more than four people, or there's a fair bit amount of luggage. Otherwise, I think I was a small family of uh, you know four of us, including two kids, and we're very happy and comfortable in this car. Um, in spite of the office shifting closer to home, um, because now it goes for almost everything. You know, like if I have to, if if you have to go out, to, it's kind of made me a little lazy also. So I don't. Uh, I've kind of over time sometimes felt lazy. You should. I, I should rather walk to. the milk booth but i'll take the car out and go get milk because without feeling guilty about you know any emissions or burning fuel or anything like that okay. so uh, yeah so over 18 months uh, it's 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 done uh, it's done 53000 kilometers and uh, uh, it's nice to it's nice to set some kind of records i think hmm. uh, it it's it always uh, makes you uh, f- uh, makes you want to to achieve more it makes you it also it's also made me a much more uh, patient person much more organized person because i plan in advance uh, i i drive it very efficiently i don't get bothered anymore by people whizzing past because i know i'll meet them at the tra- next traffic light <laughs> any which ways uh, so so it it makes a lot of sense uh, and uh, uh, and yeah i mean whether it's a kilometers or there's a system of eco points where you get where you earn a point for very efficient driving between two charges Uh, it's nice to just you know accumulate those figures because what the other thing that it does is also gives uh, other people like me who who believed in uh, in this car uh, an opportunity to know that uh, it's that the battery will last that long uh, that uh, the car will be let's say majorly trouble free and it will keep giving the same kind of joy uh, that it gave when they bought it okay. so i would like uh, to I'm I'm more than happy to be be the guinea pig in this whole situation, mm-hmm. and uh, if it makes uh, if it if it uh, if it helps in uh, making other people better believers, then then so be it. Okay, so this is about uh, maintenance uh, in fifty thousand kilometers, and what are the maintenance aspects you have faced regarding uh, driving it so many kilometers? Right. So obviously the car is not without its flaws. I mean, um, as compared to regular cars, it's 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 like uh, it's like as if somebody bought a big bad. not a big bad but a big electro set and started putting all the parts together so there are a lot of lot of different parts to this as as i've with time understood the construction of this car so there is a mild stream frame on which the body panels are cladded both of both on the inside and the outside so obviously i assume that there would be quite a few nuts and bolts and the re- and the and the fact that this is a super silent car so people start hearing those uh, those nuts and bolts if they become loose a lot faster and uh, it becomes much more prevalent as compared to other cars what owners sometimes don't realize is that in other cars also uh, there must be a equal amount of noise but you don't hear it because there is the engine noise or whatever little bit of ambient in- engine noise in which in this case is zero uh, so i've had my fair shares of issues uh, of things becoming loose so every service that i sent it to have 
ensure that you know they've all been tightened um, and uh, uh, and and have been put back into place. Uh, but otherwise, I think uh, the most service intervals have been more of cleaning and tightening the screws of the car rather than anything else because there's hardly anything there's hardly anything to service. I mean, I remember I think the only time something happened was uh, on the fourth service. At forty thousand kilometers, where according to the manual, I think the brake fluid was changed. Uh, but even that, as compared to a regular car, I'm told, given to understand, is the changing of the brake fluid is is actually not that uh, possibly not that important. So I've never felt the need for a service, but uh, because it's there in the manual and then there's warranty at attached to it, I think services should be done. Uh, but you know, it's it's never been uh, okay, never affected. Yeah. So next question would be about the battery pack. Have you experienced battery degradation and any efficiency losses in this period? So my car is the one in I mean what they call as the the older version which had the 100 km range. Uh, the newer version have around 20 km range. However, uh, some people have told me that uh, there's hardly any difference between the two batteries. Apparently it's it's a thing with software calibration. Um so even now after 52 53000 km uh, on a good day without the AC uh, I'm Good amount of efficient driving. I'm still able to get almost 135, 140 kilometers out of the same battery pack. Um, however, uh, I do believe that as compared to the to a brand new battery, I think there has been degradation to about maybe at the max three to five percent. So, had it been a brand new battery of 100 kilometer range, I would have probably got about 145. I get about 135 and 140 now. So, uh, whatever little change, it's not really started affecting my driving. So maybe I can give you a better update when I reach uh, a lack of kilometers in <laughs> in a couple of years from now. <laughs> okay, Rajesh, anything else? Uh, keep driving, and uh, we're looking forward for you to reach 100,000 kilometers. Yes, yeah, so and we'll take we'll do another video for the community. Absolutely. Keep driving. Thank you. Thank you, company. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>